Well, now we've got a really great painting going. And I want to say thank you for joining with me. This is day three. I'm Gerald Crow. I'm your art instructor. And we're having a lot of fun here. I hope you've been painting along, watching the film, and then bringing out your art supplies and starting this. We're doing this in acrylics, but if you're familiar with oils, you can do that as well. Now, today, we're going to get into painting the ocean. So let's head on down to the lesson. Visit me at DarylCrow.com. Send me an email. Post a comment here. Tell me you like this video. I'm here to help you out. And if there's a particular scene you'd like to see, or if you have a question, send it to me at Daryl at DarylCrow.com. And you know what? I'll send you a free gift. Well, I think we're, we're doing pretty well. I, you know, I've always told you that one of the things you have to do is put a lot of color on your canvas so that uh, you can really tell what you're working with. At this point in time, these lower level clouds look okay. Uh, we're going to take off the uh, masking tape, which kept our uh, horizon straight. And uh, we'll put in the uh, ocean, and we'll see what we're dealing with, okay? But uh, after we see what we're dealing with, we'll see if this is just how we want to leave it or if we want to change directions or what we'd like to do. Okay, a uh, couple of things first. We're going to go ahead and put in the, um, the water. Now, the water will come down to about here, okay? And this might be a good time to just go ahead and pencil in where the uh, water is, where the beach is, and where your your grass is but let's just say that here's the grass coming around like this and we have the rocks for you know just coming down like this okay now I'm not drawing this very harsh okay just enough for me to see what's going on and we'll have the lighthouse coming up out of here and we'll have a couple of buildings. We'll get the buildings later. But right now, back here, we're going to have some uh, uh, far distant uh, evergreen trees. And so our land actually is going to look just like that, except we're going to have the trees. So since I'm going to have the trees there, I'm going to end my ocean water about here. Now, since the uh, sea is coming into here, I'll figure that this is as far as my ocean line is concerned. Okay, I hope you can see these lines, okay? But there is where the ocean is ending. That means all of this is beach. All of this is foliage back here. And we'll have some rocks coming out of the foliage. So we're now able to cover the rest of the uh, campus. So let's get started doing that. The first thing we'll do is put in the water. Now the water is three different stages. If you've watched my basic uh, techniques of acrylic seascapes, you remember I like to divide water into three different uh, uh, darkness. Okay, and so I'm going to use the angular one inch angular brush. I'm just cleaning it out, drying it on my cloth. Okay, and we're using a bit of the phthalo blue, so I'll just put that right in here. See, this color is still nice and wet. So we'll just add a little more of the blue until we get the darkest color we want. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the purple again and put that in just to gray it down a bit. A little bit of the brown, but not much. This looks like the sky color, right? And that's because it is. You see, the water reflects what's in the sky, as well as other objects right around it. All right, this is the darkest uh, color that we have. Uh, and then we'll add some others. Now, before we do that, the one thing that I want to do is wet the canvas. So I'm going to take some more medium. This is the acrylic flow. And I just happen to have a couple of these brushes. And there we go. We'll just go ahead and wet this good. Oh, now my line's coming through. 
All right, there we are. That will allow the canvas to absorb that moisture so the paints do not dry out quickly. All right, so let's go ahead now and just put in a nice line. Okay, there we are. We'll just come right up underneath the horizon, straight across. Take your time, take your time, you're not in a rush. Okay, well, we've got a lot of moisture there right now. So we'll just go ahead and give it a good, good strong stroke. And then I'll add some more of the gesso mixture to lighten it up. Okay, and that will be our center line. All right. All right, now because of the small area we have, there's not a lot of area to work in. So let's take the uh, this brush, which is the uh, flat bristle, and we'll just, see this? We'll just go all the way back to the horizon. This is using the Z stroke. That's like making a Z. And that is our water stroke, if you will. That allows the water to appear as though it's moving. All right, now, next thing I want to do, take a little green, see, a little phthalo green, mix that right in, all right? Just a little bit stronger than a tent. All righty, a little bit longer, or stronger. There we are. And we'll put that in here in the front. I'm going to take some of the titanium white, mix it in here with the phthalo green that we had just mixed. All right. And I just want to lighten it up a bit. Because this is shallow water, so it's not going to be very dark. Okay. Let's come up here. And there we go. And we'll want to whiten, lighten this quite a bit. Okay. And there we are. Let me just take this brush and go right back over. If you do something like this, don't worry about it. All you do is you just make your horizon a little bit bigger a little bit higher. And you can use a brush that, uh, like the Taclon brush. Alrighty. Now, a lot of people make mistakes or have uh, surprise uh, alterations in their paintings. This is what you call a new direction. Okay, it happens to me, it happens to every artist. Okay. So all you do is you just make it a little bit higher. See that? That easy. So don't fret. And in fact, when I have these instant alterations, I do not worry about them. I'll just show you how I uh, tackle it. Okay. See that? All right. Now, the main thing here is to look at this and say, is this light enough? And I think we're still a bit on the dark side. So uh, what I'm going to do is take my brush, get all that extra color out of it, okay? And uh, I'll go ahead and take a little bit more of the gesso. There we are. See? Working in with that color. And we're going to go into the middle ground. All right, there we are in the middle ground. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, we can put water movement strokes in there in a few minutes, but right now I think that's lightening it up quite a bit. Okay, and then in the far horizons, it's dark, so that looks like the open sea, which is inviting you in.